Hi, my name is Paul Lewis, and today I'm going to be working with Bob. Bob, let's get you on the table in a sideline position, Bob. Bob is unable to lay on his back in a supine position, so I'm going to have him on his side. Okay? So if, let's have a look. Okay, Bob has wide shoulders, and Bob's shoulders are a little bit wide, so you can see it's a bit compressed. And in the neck area, how, how are you feeling there? Okay. He's notified to me, he's indicated to me that he's a little bit scrunched up in this area. So what I'm going to do is have you sit up, Bob, for a moment. You can just sit up. There. I'm going to use the sideline positioning system to make Bob a little bit more comfortable, hopefully elongate the shoulder area to allow him to have a little more comfort, support the neck area, realign the spine with the cervical area. Let's have you just, one second, Bob. Let's use this wedge to elevate it a little bit here, give you that extra distance in the shoulders. Let's have you lay down right here. Okay, excellent. Now I'm going to take the headrest and put it right there. Perfect. How's that feel for you? Better. Better? Good. Okay, now what I want you to do is just back this leg up. Excellent. I'm going to use the, the leg rest here. There. Comfortable? Yes. Perfect. Okay. So as I mentioned earlier, Bob is unable to lay in, in a supine position. And so what I want to do here is go into his subscapularis. Of course, you can do it in a supine position, sometimes in prone, but in this, I'm going to demonstrate for you in the, in the sideline, OK? So what we want to do first is support the arm, OK? You want to support the arm. And I'm going to take my right thumb and go underneath the scapula into the subscapularis. But in order to do that, I have to bring the scapula slightly forward. So I'm going to place my hand just on the lateral border of the scapula. I'm going to use my left hand to support the shoulder. And the body's totally relaxed. At this position here, what I'm going to do is just use the body, sink forward. As you notice, as I sink down, I'm not pulling with my arms, but I'm sinking down and just letting my body weight bring the shoulder forward. At the same time, I'm just going to scoop my thumb under, yes, into the subscapularis. And you can slowly use your body to sit back and knead the tissue. Very little effort from my, on my part. There. How are you feeling, Bob? Comfortable? Yes. Excellent. There. You can take your time to knead the tissue if necessary. And from this position here, you can mobilize the scapula if necessary, moving back and forth. Very easy using your legs, moving your body as one unit. OK? Perfect. And then if you like, support the arm, and you can put it back. There. The next thing I'm going to demonstrate, because earlier Bob mentioned that he was working and his ribs are slightly contracted on the side. So he's feeling a little bit of pain. So what I want to do is I'm going to support his arm. And at the same time, I'm going to give him a bit of a stretch on the side. But between these two ribs here, they're contracted. So I'm going to use a little bit of joint mobilizations, OK? The joint mobilizations until I'm going to lengthen the arm. Oh, there, I can feel a bit of a pull at this point. At this point, what I want to do is stabilize the lower rib. Between these two ribs, I want to stabilize the rib and bring the arm forward there and hold it for at least 30 seconds. At this point, you notice I'm laterally rotating the arm as I bring it above the head to avoid the acromial arch. And there, and then I release. And then you can move down one rib again and stabilize. And there, let's take it back and lengthen. How are we feeling, Bob? Good. Good. And you can do it all the way down the ribs, depending on how many are contracted and holding together. So let's release the arm, and we'll put it down to the side. So from here, just a few tips that I've just been mentioning. The last thing is, from this position here, you have total access to the back, which you can work if you need to. From here, you can rotate, do some forearm work to the neck area. There's a variety of things that you can do from this position, which, you know, I love the, the sidelining position, sideline positioning system, which seems to work for both Bob and myself. Thank you.